Clock Tower for Super Nintendo. Or Super Famicom, if you will. It's our new Let's Play! And I'm doing one of the pioneers of survival horror. And it's one of my most favorite games, despite the fact I really haven't played it a lot. So then here we are on the menu. We can check out our endings here. We got none of them. I'm going to cover all the endings, but in this initial playthrough, I will be going for the most detailed ending, which is still canon. It'll be something like canon SC or something like that. Quick start takes us to the um, right into the gameplay without watching the opening, but we want to uh, we want to watch the opening, so let's go. Raised in the Granite Orphanage, Jennifer and her friends were wanted as adopted daughters. It happened in September. Oh man, can you imagine Vincent Price voicing this or something? I should have done a Vincent Price impersonation. And there they are walking down a trail. This game is very slow paced, just so y'all know. Laura, hurry up! I want to be there before- we want to be there before sunset. Miss Mary? Yes. From now on, what kind of place will we be living in? That's the fifth time you asked. Don't worry, it's a ni very nice place. The girl to the left there is Jennifer. She's our player character. We're almost there. See? The Burroughs Manor. What a huge place! Yeah! The main hall is gigantic! I gotta go get Mr. Barrows. Everybody wait here. And Miss Mary goes along her happy way to go find her husband. I'll take this time to explain the controls and introduce the characters. There we go. The game is like a quasi point and click. You move to the left by pushing L, you move to the right by pressing R, you make her stop by doing this. This is Jennifer, our main character. And why is your is like your right click on a point is your left click on a point and click? There's Jennifer. Hey Anne. You want to know what kind of guy Mr. Barrows is, right? Yeah. And that's all she says. Da da da. Haha, huh, it's a table. So that was Anne. What is it? Is something wrong? This house makes me uneasy. I think that's Laura. And over here we have Lot. Who looks either like a dude or like an old lesbian. I'm not sure which. I doubt I'll ever get used to this place. Hmm? Nah. Lot's paranoid. Da 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 da. Um. Now there's something you gotta do to trigger. Let me see. Yeah. Oh yeah. You can also tell Jennifer to go where to go by clicking but it'll be easier oh wow she's slow like I said it's gonna be slow paced so just deal with it we got five more minutes left yeah X stops the A button is your inventory I'm not B button is the panic button I'll get back to that later though when it's more useful Ah, start pauses. Select moves the thing down all the way. Hmm? Locked. 
this door is locked. And there's something you've got to do. trigger the power going out. I'm trying to remember what it is. There's not a whole lot you can do in here. Let's try talking to our friends again. Hey. Can you go find Miss Mary? No. Okay. You just said that. Shut up. What happened to Miss Mary? She's been gone for like three whole minutes. Talked a lot. I to talk to everybody twice. Mary, she's taken a long time. Should I go find Miss Mary? No. I'll go look for her. Okay, turn around again. There we go. Go through the open door. Whoa! The main hall? Girls? Come on, this isn't funny. And so the terror begins. Now we can make her run. This will tire her out though, so I'm not going to be using this a whole lot. You notice the color of her portrait? That's your stamina. It'll change from blue to kind of a yellowish green. From there, a brownish red. An orangish brown, I guess. And then finally, red. And when it's that depend that that dictates how well you do in panic events. A panic event, the background will start flashing blue and red, blue and red, blue and red. And um, you have to tap the B button repeatedly to survive. And if you don't have a lot of health, you gonna die. And there's nothing down this far. Yeah, run that way, Jennifer. Just so y'all know, I'm doing this pro this let's play half whoa. Forgot about that. <laughs> I'm doing this half blind. That is to say, I have played the game and I have beaten it several times before. But first of all, it's been a very long time. And second of all, I've never act I've never done a gotten a perfect playthrough before. So, you all are gonna have to bear with me here. I'm not gonna be able to breeze through this like if it was nothing. But that's okay. Go this way. Ah, uh, see, she it turned to that yellowish color. And she goes in. Let's check out this hallway here. Climb up there, Jennifer. Pile of trash wood and something else. Bucketed a rock. We'll need this later. And we're out of time already. Told you the game is slow paced. But this is a good place to stop. Um, one more thing before we leave. You can regenerate your health in this. You do it by having her sit still like so. And over time it will regenerate back to blue. We ever, and you can only do this in hallways. See, it's already back to normal. So that's it for this episode of Let's Play Clock Tower. Tune in. Stay tuned. It's only just getting started.